U.S. Soccer on TNT is presented by Volkswagen. From Soldier Field in Chicago, the United States taking on South Africa on a day when one of the all-time greats will play her final international game. Great to have you with us. Luke Walm alongside Julie Foudy in the broadcast booth. Uh, Megan Rapino will be honored before kickoff here at Soldier Field. But as we look back today, we also look forward with this group of players that this week has come into a camp, Julie, with an interim head coach looking to try and move past the disappointments of the World Cup. Did they get the performance they would have wanted? They got the result, of course, 3-0 against South Africa in Cincinnati on Thursday. Well, I think they're going to be pleased that they got the results. I think the performance is something they can still build on. But you look at, Luke, all that was swirling. They had the Earth celebration, of course, which in itself can be a little bit tricky because you're trying to honor this player, but you're also grieving the World Cup a little bit at the same time. They had a chance to debrief. And ultimately, what they knew they needed out of that game was a solid win, and they got just that. So I think they're going to be really pleased with that start outside of a very disappointing World Cup. Megan Rapino taking it all in, looking around as she comes out here at Soldier Field. What a moment. What a player. What a person. And the, the best part of all of this is that she's just scratching the surface of what she's going to do. I mean, her next chapter, we talked about that a lot with her yesterday off camera about building businesses for women's sports and brands and marketing. And she says, I think I know a, two, a thing or two about it. I've been in this, in this world for a very long time. But you think about the impact she's had on the field, and yet we haven't even begun to see what she's going to do off the field and that I think is the most exciting thing of all of this and the other thing Megan Rapino talked about was the fact that she's grateful for this opportunity today because often times when it comes to the end of a career an athlete doesn't get this chance she said most international players careers end with their national team with the absence of an email yeah and it's it's very true I've had teammates and friends who still live with that not having that closure and so to see two players in Ertz on Thursday night of course Megan Rapino today be able to go out on their own terms in their own way and most importantly really it seems at peace with it which everyone knows as an athlete is no easy transition you're wrapped up in this identity of being a soccer player is I think incredibly rewarding and what she says is I'm just so grateful because I know it could have been very different soccer tonight we honor the iconic Megan Rapino for becoming the 14th player in US women's national team history to earn 200 caps a feat she achieved in the opening match at the women's World Cup this summer We also honor Megan as she plays in her 203rd and final match for the U.S. Women's National Team. As Megan retires after one of the most outstanding careers in U.S. soccer history as a two-time FIFA Women's World Cup champion, the FIFA Women's Best Player in 2019, an Olympic gold medalist, a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Please welcome U.S. Soccer President Cindy Parlo Cohn, CEO and General Secretary J.T. Batson, Sporting Director Matt Crocker, and Vice President of Sporting Aguchi Oyawu. As they present Megan with a framed jersey commemorating the 203 games in which she has represented the United States America. Please rise and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem of the Republic of South Africa.
Please remain standing and welcome Chicago's very own Soraya to perform the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. Broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watch were so gently streaming. It's the United States against South Africa, Megan Rapinoe's farewell game. And it's next on TNT from Soldier Field in Chicago. We are, we are, we are the 